Hey, I know I'm supposed to be working on the sports bender video right now, but if you couldn't tell by the thumbnail, this is kind of important. Not even bringing out my avatar for this or playing any music because this is really serious. Toei could be in serious trouble yet again, and it's flown under the radar of almost everyone, which was likely their intention. But considering YouTube's weird stances nowadays, maybe not. So, as you're already probably aware, Toei has this tokusatsu channel on YouTube. They launched it back in 2020, and the main purpose of the channel was to finally give legal releases of their older tokusatsu programs outside of Japan. Sure, only the first two episodes are subbed in English, and sure... Toei is secretly privating uploads after a set period of time, but that's not what I caught them trying to do. No, what they did was somehow even worse. So one of the shows they have on offer is Kateni Kamitaman, a show from the Toei Fushigi comedy series that ran from about 1984, 85 to 1986, I can't remember. To give a basic rundown, a kid named Shinsuke finds a giant ramen bowl that contains a physical god inside of it with the voice of Krillin from Dragon Ball Z for some reason. Hijinks ensue. Now, not too long ago, Toei started uploading the rest of the series every Tuesday. But last week, January 4th, Kamitaman's 7th and 8th episodes did not go up as initially scheduled. A bit perplexing, but... Maybe something happened and Toei simply forgot? You'd think that's the case, but... Ugh, the real answer came to me from the most unlikely of sources. Shinsuke's actor. Takeshi Iwase. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, by some miracle, he found me on Twitter after I was talking about it prior, and we started hitting it off. After following each other, I noticed a clip from Kamitaman in my timeline, and it came from someone he retweeted. The clip contained Shinsuke walking into a bathroom with a towel, butt naked. Not only was he butt naked, I cannot believe I'm saying this, and I apologize profusely for having to say this out loud, his penis was visible for a few frames. And to make it even worse, there was an adult actor on camera with him. This weird alien thing. It, it, it had something to do with the episode on hand. It's a one-off character, for all I know. Now, look, I get it. Japan has a different set of standards in terms of what's allowed on children's television. They tend to be a bit more lax on things, especially back then. To quote Greg from Knickknacks, the past was a mistake. But this is much, much different, especially in today's climate. As innocent as it might have been back in the day, this wouldn't fly at all, period. In fact, if you tried filming a scene like this today, in any country, you'd probably be looking at tons of lawsuits, a potential blacklist, and maybe even jail time. And this brings us back to those missing episodes from January 4th. If you couldn't put two and two together, this episode was one of the two that didn't get uploaded last week. So, where's the issue? Toei didn't upload them because of this one scene, right? Oh no, they uploaded it. Back in October. What ended up happening was Toei uploaded these episodes on October 3rd, 2021, and kept them private until the day they were meant to go up. So when they made the uploads public, it wouldn't show up on subscriber feeds. And before you ask, yes, the scene is still there, intact. What we essentially have here is Toei realizing they had a problematic episode on their hands, and instead of skipping it while issuing a statement declaring the episode to be unacceptable for modern audiences and apologizing for it, 
they sneak it into their upload schedule much earlier than the rest of the series, leave it private, and only make it public on the day it was originally meant to go up in hopes no one would notice. Well, I noticed. And now all of you noticed. Now keep in mind that both nudity and sexualization of minors are huge no-nos on YouTube. Sure, we're talking about a single scene from a single episode of a single show that aired back in the mid-80s, but since this comes from an official channel, Toei should know better and should be aware they're on a platform that does not tolerate minors in these kinds of situations. Just to give you an example of why this is bad, uh, the riffing group that I'm in, Anniverse, a few years ago we annotated something known as A Good Boy, A Story of Pedophilia. It felt more like a tool for actual child predators than being told to stay away from child predators. Around Thanksgiving of 2020, we noticed the video got an uncharacteristically large spike in views. It went from a few hundred views to over 215,000 views within the span of a few days. Realizing the video might have gotten into the hands of actual pedophiles, we deleted the video immediately. And this was a cartoon. Imagine how bad it would be if this live-action foreign piece of media got into the hands of those same pedophiles. I know it's a gross thought, but I've seen firsthand that this is real and it could lead to some horrifying implications. So if you're watching this and you want to do something about it, look up Kamitaman episode 8 and report it for nudity. I already did, and the more people that flag it, we can hopefully get it removed and send a message to Toei saying, you really need to be more careful with your old stuff. And Iwa say, I am so sorry this happened to you. Know that this is not your fault at all. Toei just needs to know better.